Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Kenyon Jones, and today's topic is good to great. Good to great. One of the things that I know and that I understand is that the great people on this earth master very small tasks over a period of time every single day. So their whole idea of being great isn't just something that happens because there's a celebration happening or there's a big moment or there's a special occasion or the president is in town or the vice president is in town or, you know, um, you know, the king has arrived or something like that. No, no, no. People who are great, they understand that in order to be great, this has to become a practice. This has to be something that I do every single moment of every single day of every single week of every single month of every single year, of every single 10 years, of every single 20 years of my life. In other words, greatness is a lifestyle. So in order for greatness to be a lifestyle, there has to be a level of practice, a level of authenticity, a level of genuineness that has to come from being great. See, people like to be inspired, encouraged, and motivated by speakers, and that's fine and good, but at the end of the day, once that speaker packs up and goes home, sells his or her books, you know, invites you out to a couple seminars. At the end of the day, they're still going to be on, on tour being great. And if you don't take care of your business, then you'll be waiting for the next tour of greatness to come through. As opposed to really sitting there saying, you know what? That person is human just like I am. You know, they've overcome obstacles just like I need to. So why am I sitting here in awe of another human being when the reality of it is is that I have the same access, the same capability, the same opportunity to be great. So being great is 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 not something that is out of reach. Being great is really just a matter of making a decision. And once we make a decision to be great, guess what happens? We become great. When we make a decision to become great, we become great. You know, and yes, when you make that decision, every obstacle you can think of is going to happen. It's going to pop up it's going to make itself available and it will always test you to see if you're really after this greatness that you talk about. See, when you say you're going to be great now, guess what's going to happen? You're going to have people who are close to you drop off. You're going to have family and friends look at you like, yo, you're crazy. You know, you're going to have every type of obstacle, any type of thing that can go wrong will. Because now you have raised the bar for your life. And by you raising the bar for your life, you've decided... That you're not going to live a mediocre life anymore. You decided that you're not going to live a life of being average. That you're not going to live a life of just getting by anymore. So now you're going to be tested by what you said you want to do. And trust me, I'm going through this as we speak. What you say you want, you'll be tested by. So you got to be careful about what you wish for. Now, there's nothing wrong with it if that's what you're serious about. But don't just kind of flippantly walk around and say, I want this, I want that. Because what you wish for will happen. And if you're not serious about it, that word that came out of your mouth that you said you wanted to be is going to test you and it's going to tear you apart if you're not ready. But guess what happens if you're ready? <laughs> Woo! If you're ready, now you can run and you can deal with all the obstacles because you know and you understand that this is just part of the process. This is what it is. You know, this is what is happening. So it's no need to be timid. It's no need to be afraid. It's no need to be scared of the future. It's no need to wonder, to wish. It's no need to worry about any of that. The only thing you have to do is say, I'm going to do this or I'm going to die trying to do it. You know what I'm saying? And when you start living like that, now every obstacle, everything that you could think of that was negative, Anything that you could think of that kept you from getting to that next level, guess what happens? It moves out of your way. And now not only does it move out of your way, but it assists you in getting to the level that you say you want to get to. So now in order to be great, we have to understand that good is the biggest enemy of great. Because good paints itself as being great because things are okay. You know, the bills are paid. You know, there's really no need to try to do anything extra. You know, um, you know, we're, we're fine where we are. You know, I, 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 I like, you know, what's going on now. And everything is just in place. And, and that's one of the biggest deceptions to being great, you know, because things are good. 
But the reality of it is that good will never get you to the next level. Good is really being stagnant. Good is really just not doing anything, you know? And one of the things I always like to talk about is using the analogy of a baby. You know, when we look at a baby, because we can see, you know, what's going on with this child, we are worried or a little perplexed, I should say, if a baby stops growing, you know, so if a baby is born healthy, seven pounds, 10 ounces, you know, all faculties working, you know, and then all of a sudden now, three months in, four months in, five months in, that baby is still seven pounds, 10 ounces, didn't gain a pound, <coughs> excuse me, didn't gain a pound in three or four months, now we're scared. Because we know and we understand that there should be a progression of growth, a progression of development, because three months, four months went by. So it's easy for us to understand that that's something to worry about. This baby isn't growing. Well, if we can apply that to a child, a newborn, an infant, why don't we apply that to our lives? How come we don't get worried when three, four months go by and nothing changes? How come we don't worry when three, four months go by and we're in the same state of mind that we were in three, four months ago. The reality is, is that we don't worry because we're good. And by us thinking that we're good, we really believe that everything is okay. So with that being said, I want to thank everyone who subscribes to Kenyon Jones Presents. Um, I am blessed, I am fortunate to be able to have this platform to speak life into the world. Um... My mission is to empower, encourage, inspire people to achieve their goals, realize their dreams, and transform their lives worldwide. With that being said, I want to say thank you for watching, and God bless.